Hello guys, once again, uh, welcome back to Smash It Food Reviews. Uh, we've just arrived in Blackburn, so I'm going to try somewhere different instead of Preston today. I've been recommended um, a place called The Clove in Blackburn. Apparently they do a really nice like desert breakfast and they've got lots of other things on offer. So I really want to try that. I've not had many de desert breakfasts before, so I'm just going to try something new. Um, and it's going to be absolutely different for me because I've never tried anything like that. So let's just let's see how fun it is to see what it looks like inside and hopefully we can get a good review out of it. This is the entrance of the club. I'm just going to walk in now. Give it a little, a little view. Very nice, well presented. A little decoration on the walls here. This is the front bit. As you can see down here, there's some ice creams. Very nice. Some lovely desserts in here. All the different varieties. Very nice. Welcome back guys, we're inside the cloth in Blackburn. I've just ordered some food and we're just waiting for it to come down. Um, I've been recommended a few special dishes from here. I've got one drink and a few other dishes to come. So I hope you guys enjoyed the review and try and make it down here. I've got loads of different foods here. I don't even know where to start. It's going to be very funny because I don't even know how, how to name some of these stuff that I'm going to eat right now. Right? So I've got over here, I've ordered a Manhattan Sizzler, it's called. So I've been recommending this as one of the special foods to eat. Um, over here, we've got like almost like a, another stir fry, it's got some noodles and rice underneath it as well. But this is, this is called the, the Chicken Sizzler, this one. Right, over here, I've got some uh, Piri Piri Chicken or Chicken Tandoori, whatever you want to call it, with some chips on the side. And then over there, I've got a lovely desert breakfast. As you can see, it's got an omelette. It's got some diamond things over here. Whatever, I don't know what you call it, some puris or whatever it's called. I'm not sure. But let's have a bit of fun here. Right, you've got some mango chutney over here. We've got some green kind of sauce, which I'll still have to try because I don't know what the hell that is. There must be some chili or something like that in there. Got some fried bajiers or pakoras, whatever you want to name it. Really nice and crispy. And you've got some diamond little biscuity things over here. I'm not going to say the name, I'm going to try, but yeah, it looks nice and crispy. And then it looks like you've got some nice spicy chickpeas in a little nice cast iron pan over here, really nice and quality. And then you've got a little, I think, maybe some yogurt sauce with a little special drizzle of another sauce on top. I'll have to try that and see how it tastes like. Right, plenty to taste for you guys, so let's start the review. First of all, I'm gonna I'm gonna start with this breakfast. I think I'm gonna try this breakfast first and see how it goes. As you can see here, inside the omelet, you can see pieces of onion inside here. Very little pieces of onion and some fresh chilies, and I'm guessing it's probably coriander in there as well. Let's have it. Let's have a little taste. Oops, dropped it already. Really nice soft egg. It definitely tastes a little bit. It's a bunny in there, it's got a slight little crunch to it, it's not hard. Very nice. The egg is just perfect in texture. It's not too rubbery, it's not too soft or mushy. Just in the middle, perfect. Right. But we try these little curries, I think they're called. And try some of this chickpea curry. Oh yeah, <laughs> that is definitely good. A little bit of the spice to it. Definitely taste the, the curries and the spice that come through it. Oh, I can definitely taste the freshness of the tomatoes go through there. Really good. Oh, it's got chicken in there as well, look. I didn't know that one. It's got a big piece of chicken in there too. My is amazing. That chicken just melted in my mouth like almost immediately. 
well. Perfect spice, not too spicy, but if you don't like spice, I think it will be a little spicy for you, but that is really, really tasty, guys. Right, and this puri here, it's really nice and soft, as you can see. It's not hard or cold or anything, just nice and warm, fluffy, but nice and soft to eat. Right, I think I'm going to try it. I prefer the, the chickpeas with this curry sauce, I mean with this yogurt sauce, sorry, I'm sorry. So that sauce over there, it's almost like a very sweet yogurt flavor. So the first place on yogurt, but it's sweet. So if you, if you want to combat the chili heat from the chickpeas, then I suggest you mix it in with the yogurt sauce. Very nice, tastes fresh and sweet. Can't recommend it. Uh, let's have a taste of these little biscuits over here. It just tastes like a little pastry that you get a, 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 a corner in your shop. Very nice, very crispy. I think I'd say slightly sweet, got a tiny bit of sweetness to it, but really nice. Right. I'm scared to try this one, guys. I don't know how spicy that is, though. It just looks like just chilly to me. I'm going to try it. Very strong flavour, this one has. I'm not sure what it is, I think it's chilli and ginger, I think, mixed together. It's a quick taste of chilli and ginger, I think. Very strong, powerful, pungent flavour with the chilli and, uh, and uh, ginger. So, if you like strong flavours, then have that one. But for me, that's very overpowered, very strong. Right. I'm going to go and try these little pavillas or pakoras. Right in the middle of it. Inside bit of onion. That's real tasty. Right there. This tastes like almost like a mango puree. Very, very sweet. Very nice. Take that hint of chili off again. It's just really, really sweet like a mango. It just doesn't taste like a mango chili. It just tastes really sweet. Like, almost like a puree. It's still very nice. I don't know. Lots of brownie desert breakfast done. But we've over here. I'm gonna try this chicken there, it's nice and simple. Before I get to this these messy ones. Right. This is the half chicken, two pre chicken. Another little try of this. As you can see there I've just gone right through the chicken. Really, really soft, it's not hard at all. That was easy to cook. A few bits of shredded coriander on top of the chicken. Definitely really nice. Food. Not very spicy at all. This one. This one is almost got like a sweetest chili kind of marinade on top. Really, really nice. Food. Probably compare it to close to Nando's, but with more of an Indian like spice to it. You know, really, really nice. The chicken is extra, extra soft. You can just cut it straight through it. Nice and soft. Right, chill. 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 Right, let's go to this mixed meat and chicken sizzler. Right, let's go to this mixed meat and chicken sizzler. This is the the Manhattan guys with some meat and chicken mixed in together. So it's got the, the meat over here. I'm guessing it's lamb. And then I've got over here the chicken pieces over here. Let's go and have a try this. This side on top of the meat is uh, it's got noodles underneath, as you can see. On one side, and on the other side, it's got rice underneath. So you get a bit of more. I think actually it might be beef. 
from a platform type of slide steak, little piece of steak and cut. And the sauce is really, really nice. It's got a nice amount of heat to it. Got some nice layers going through because you can taste some peppers and see what's in the bag. And a bit of tomato going through there. And then you've got the nice fresh bits of uh, onion, sweet onion on top. Really, really nice. Can't complain about that. The pasta and the meat. Really, really nice and soft and really good. Really, very really good. I'm going to just want to try the chicken side to the rice. And this is quite a good portion, guys, as well as you can see there. It's quite big. It's going to fill you up quite a lot. Once again, obviously, the sauce is the same. Nice and spicy. A bit of sweetness to it again. Taste the onions and the peppers, everything soft again once again. It's really, really nice. The rice on the leaf is perfect and fluffy. It's not hard, it's cold. It's just really, really nice, guys. The flavour is 10 out of 10. Like the spices that come on there, it's amazing. You get that hint of sweetness right there. It's really, really good. Tip plus stir fry, that's very, very nice. Right, guys, over here, I'm going to try something that I've never tried in my life. So I'm a bit wary of this one. I don't know. I don't know what it's going to taste like. It's called Sichuan chicken. And I don't know what, what kind of sauce this is, but it looks very shiny and sticky, almost like a sweet sauce. So let's go and have a try of this. Even spicier than the other one. This one's got some serious heat in Sichuan. So if you like spice, you gotta get this one because my mark is on fire right now. Well, like so. But yeah, let's carry on. This Shishuan sauce is similar to that one, but it's a lot stickier in texture. It's a lot thicker. And then the spice is killing me right now, still lingering in my mouth. Right, uh, the difference to this one is, from what I can taste, so the chicken has got some sort of coating on it, like almost like a, a bread is coated, like a soft, squeaky coat. Bread. This gives it that little soft texture. So if you like that soft texture, like a squeaky, uh, like um, almost like bread coating, and this is one for you. It's very sticky, and sweet, but it's got a massive kick to it. Really, really hot. And again, you can taste the little bits of onion and the spring onion on top, and the rice again is exactly the same, just nice and. I'm not even going to try the top of it anymore, I'm just going to get a bit of rice too, too hot. Yeah, the rice is actually fluffy. It's just, it's just plain rice and the leaves, there's no like extra flavours in the rice, it's just rice like onions or anything like that, or spices, cumin seeds, it's just plain fluffy rice. It's perfect, well cooked, so I can't complain. But once again, on the other side, you've got your noodles again, so if you really like really spicy food then I think this Sichuan just ticks the box for you. It's nice and shiny, sticky sauce. Looks like a, Chinese, a bit Chinese to me. But it tastes really spicy. Quality though, which is the most important thing, guys. Right. So, after eating all these things, I am definitely going to go over to this over here, which is a nice, cool, refreshing thing, which I really need right now. Let's go. What this is, is the clove special mojito. So I've gone for that because obviously it's got the name in it and it's very special. So I just thought I'd come up plate and get this one. So let's give it a try. <coughs> that tastes super special. Really amazing. It tastes almost tastes like lemonade, like raspberry lemonade almost. So it's got pieces of mint inside here, as you can see. Little pieces of fresh mint. It's got massive pieces of raspberry in there. And you can taste the seeds in it as well, so as you can see, it's just literally all the fruit crushed down. And it's got bits of lime in it as well, full of ice, really refreshing, honestly. This one is, I think I'm going to give this 10 out of 10 already, in the way. This is really, really refreshing. In fact, it's got a bit of lemonade in there, so you can get that in this one. So. And it's just full packed with mint and just full of fruit flavour. Like you get that sweetness from the lemonade and you just get that shot of the raspberry and the other fruits that are in there. All I can taste is basically the raspberry or the strawberry. Really refreshing, really nice. Guys, as you can see here, it's got massive, massive plates of food to fill you guys up. 
I can't recommend it enough if you want to bring down your family on a weekend or on a Sunday when you're free. Really, really tasty food. The thing that I can say the most is the food packed the punch and packed loads of flavour and that's what you're looking for. It's not bland at all, it's amazing. So, for this desert breakfast, I absolutely amazed me. I, I really, really enjoyed it. I'm going to give it a 10 out of 10. I rarely give like that range, but that breakfast was really, really good. This chicken over here, I'm going to give it a solid 9 again. Like, I don't give really high reviews, but this one's really nice and soft. It's so like an overpowering marinade. And yeah, I enjoyed that a lot. Then over here, you got the, the chicken and beef stir fry, the, the mixed grill stir fry. And that was really, really nice. That wasn't too spicy, the perfect spice for me. Really enjoyed it. And it's a bit, a bit more wet in consistency. But this one over here, guys, the sticky one over here. Wow. That was full in flavour, but that would have to punch in terms of chilli. So if that's what you like, then you definitely have to go for that shish one. And I've heard it's very popular, one of the best dishes in the place. So definitely try that one if you come down. Right. So thank you very much for the review, guys, for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, try and come down here if you can. It's in Blackburn. And it's fantastic. There's loads of different options to eat. It's not just this, as you saw the menu at the start. And it's fantastic for the families. And to be honest, I think it's just just bang on in the middle of price, it's not too expensive and it's not too cheap. So if you want to come down, like I said the dishes are big so you can even share dishes all together if you want. So I highly recommend it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Like my video, subscribe and I hope you enjoyed my once and once again and thank you for watching. I'm at the close of that end once again, just uh, showing you guys the boss here. Yeah? This treat is really nice, huh? it's got some fantastic food. So if you come down, make sure you talk to him and get a bit of advice on what to eat and have a good time here. So make sure you watch.